टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट फिफ्थ सर्टिफिकेशन वी विल कवर दिस इन थ्री वीडियोज द पार्ट वन विल कवर वट इज फिप्स एंड पार्ट टू विल कवर हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट फिप्स सर्टिफाइड क्रिप्टोग्राफिक एलगोरिदम्स एंड पार्ट थ्री विच विल बी द लास्ट पार्ट इट विल कवर हाउ टू गेट फिप्स सर्टिफिकेशन और हाउ टू गेट फिप्स सर्टिफाइड और टेस्टेड so coming on to the first slide that what is fips fips stands for federal information security standard it is basically an umbrella term which is used for series of security standards which have been developed by nist nist stands for national institute of standard and technology it is an us organization which is responsible for developing security standards so these standards are defined in different publications like fips 140-2 and the new version fips 140-3 they define the security requirements for crypto modules so if we want to know the requirements for secure hash standards we will go for fips 180 for digital signature standards we will go for fips 186-5 for aes encryption standard we will go for fips 197 and similarly we have almost 12 standards however it is important to note that fips term is most commonly used for fips certification and requirement for fips certification is given in fips 142 and 143 document so coming on to fips certification fips certification is conducted by nist same organization which is preparing these standards and it is using fips 140 dash 3 publication for doing that thing so security requirements of cryptography modules contains all the requirements which should be met by a component or software component or a hardware device which needs fips certification fips 143 evaluation is conducted against four security levels starting from level 1 to level 4 level 1 is lowest level and level 4 is highest level so as far as lowest level is concerned it has to meet minimum requirements so it will be easy to implement it will be easy to meet and less time will be spent less money will be spent and highest will require the most stringent requirements so in that case you have to spend more time in implementing and getting it tested and definitely more money will be needed and it can take from few months to more than one or two years to get it evaluated so there are two certifications which you need to get in order to be fips certified and both are offered by nist the first one is called cavp and second one is called cmvp so cavp is prerequisite for cmvp you cannot go for cmvp till the time you have done the cavp so as far as cavp is concerned it is simply cryptographic algorithm validation program so what it is doing it is only verifying the algorithms implemented by you aes is working properly your rsa signature is working properly things like that so what it is doing it is providing an input to the algorithm and then it is looking at the output which is being produced by the algorithm that it is doing the correct thing it is the most easiest certification to achieve if everything is working properly so once that is done then we go for cmvp so cmvp is cryptographic module validation program so in this case we are not only looking at the algorithms no we are looking at the complete environment for example if we are using open ssl for implementing the algorithms so in case of cmvp we will provide input to open ssl get the output and check it but in case of cmvp we have to get the complete environment in which it is working verified which could be it is it could be a part of an operating system and that complete operating system has to be verified and tested with our module so the important question which comes to our mind is why we need fips so fips 143 certification is required for selling hardware and software products to us federal governments and the condition is if our software or hardware product is implementing a cryptography for example in case of software if you are using tls for communication then we have to have fips 143 certification only then 
we will be able to sell it to US federal government. And nowadays, FIPS is also becoming popular in other regions like EU, North America, South America, Australia. So different countries in these regions, they are also asking for FIPS certification. And the main reason is, the main advantages of FIPS certifications are, number one, validation is done against standard specification. So all the vendors, they are using same specification. So it is possible to compare the results. And then validation is done by independent third party. So a vendor is not claiming that I am having this so very strong cryptographic implementation. Vendor has to go to an independent security lab and he has to get it tested from them. And these labs have already been given permission by NIST to do this thing. So you can't go to any lab basically. And then these results are submitted to NIST by the security labs for validation. So that is the second important advantage that validation is being done by the third party. So in, in case if you want to sell your equipment to US federal government and some of the uh, countries in other regions, you will need a FIPS certification. If you want to learn more about uh, different standards, so you can just go to the NIST website and download the different publication, including FIPS 144-3. So that is all for the first part.